Just about to start welding up all the stringers, just everything. Start from the back, working forward. Gonna be jumping around a bit too, cause, cause of the heat. Don't want it to warp anything, so. We'll get going on that, get a little time lapse going. So I started on these circles. And uh, yeah, not easy. Only have like fucking 40 more to go. Also, just getting the stringers stitched in every six inches. Be good. Would you say two and a half spools of wire today on the quarter inch? Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of welding. Tigged all this because we couldn't make it because we couldn't get the gun set up where it didn't blow through this thin budding edge. And then we also had to trim off some of our side because it ran lower down than our chimes because we didn't have the right chime angle. Flip the boat upside down for some easier welding. Here we go. Gonna get the bottom welded out and then grind everything down tomorrow, hopefully, when it's nice and sunny out. Let the grinding commence. All oh, this. Got some nice, uh, I don't know, flap discs, I guess. Not cheap though. And then uh, some of these guys, aluminum grinding wheels. Yeah. Should be just a, a great time here for the next, the next handful of hours. Lots of grinding to do. All right, so I just got back from Vancouver yesterday, picked up some stuff for the jet boat. We got this bad boy, 2012 RXP 260, supercharged, pretty low hours, 125. Just had the supercharger rebuilt. I also picked up some extra UH from Chris's shop that we're gonna put on the side of the hull. And then also got some kind of pump protector bars <clears throat> and the hardware for the UH and a new grinder big trip in the city just laid out the intake to be cut it's pretty fine lines got to cut out the back of the transom a bit because this sits flush with that and the intake housing actually sits in an eighth Size. <laughs> <Am> I done. <laughs> okay, we just got the the intake grade in, and uh, yeah, put it up half an inch because we got the UH coming up. breaking any speed records <laughs> but it's in sucked everything almost nice and tight just got to get that on which I think will come in with the flange but when we welded this on this just popped out crazy but then it sucked in What's our idea here now we're gonna put our flange bolt our flange on here yeah that goes on the top 
Like those on the top. Okay. So like, like so. Nope. That's on the side now. Like that. Nope. <laughs> like that. Yep. Gotcha. Tie in the, the transom with the back of the intake here. And then, then it's time to flip the motor over and put some UH on and then it's almost time to put the motor in. Just putting these side braces in, which we definitely should have done earlier, but whatever, it didn't really seem to affect us putting them in now. 